Good afternoon. I'm Coach Rashard McGill, and I'm from Tallahassee, Florida. Good evening. My name is Corey Allman from Oxen Hill, Maryland. What inspired me to start Lifeline Skills Academy was to be able to give back to kids who didn't have anybody that gave back to them. Um, being a professional athlete, a current professional athlete, and being able to give my skills and my knowledge of the game to kids who want to learn and who want to become better basketball players in the future. Um, not only just giving back to, to them for basketball and skill development, but to also give them discipline and, and life skills. Because um, after basketball, you know, you, you have to hit life and, and life is going to be really hard. And if you don't have discipline, you, you really don't have much to do. Um, you really don't have much to fall back on. And those were one of the reasons why I started Lifeline Skills Academy. What inspired me to start Lifeline Skills Academy it was just to give back to the kids. Uh, we play professionally here in town for, I've been here uh, playing for three years. Now, Coach Shaw, I've been here for two years. And while we're playing here, we, we was able to build a lot of relationships in town with kids and parents and, and the kids just, they, they wanted to work, you know, and we wanted to start, start our training sessions and, and camps to give back to these kids to prepare them for the next level in life, whatever it may be. You know, you got to understand that in life is going to knock you down. You know, parents today still go through stuff and, and get knocked down and have roadblocks and and that's all it is. It's just a roadblock. You can get over that roadblock or around that roadblock or under that roadblock or through that roadblock. You got to figure out how to get around your obstacle or whatever the situation may be. And that's what this camp is about. It's going to push you to your limit, all the way to your limit, physically and mentally. And you got to keep fighting through it. And that's what we try to teach here. I absolutely loved the program. I really wish it was year round, not just during the summer because my son Hopefully we'll go in the NBA someday and I just really need him to get the skills he's getting here year round, not just in the summer. I love how the coaches interact with the kids. They don't let them slack at all. They always are on top of them to make sure that they're doing what they're supposed to and not letting them get away with anything, doing the good basketball skills and making them stronger and better and faster and everything that they need to. My grandson Nicholas has been with Coach Corey and uh, Coach Rashad for about two years now. He has grown quite a bit, height and in his skills with basketball. They are excellent teachers. They provide a full background for the boys. They tell them that they also need to be good in school, uh, be good people. They teach them the life skills that they're going to need to succeed in life, which is what every grandparent and parent hopes when they send their kids to camp, what they're going to get out of it. Uh, I think basketball, I think this program helped my grandson Nicholas, not only in his basketball skills, but in his everyday life. I think the coaches did a great job in teaching him uh, beyond basketball and what it means to be you know, uh, a team player on and off the court and, and also to help him with his personal skills off the court. So for that, I'm appreciative to both coaches for the time they spent for Nicholas uh, this is his second year in the program and uh, he has made a lot of strides, not only in basketball, but also uh, the way he handles himself off the court. Uh, what I gain is, is more of a, a satisfaction, you know, when, when you're teaching and, and you're training or, or if you're doing anything and you're trying to give out information to someone, you want to you wanna know if they're, if they're receiving the information right. You want to know if, they, if they're understanding it and they're using it or they're, they're getting better at it. And when you see them coming here Monday and you see uh, a kid that can't, can't dribble or can't do exactly the way we do it, and then to see them improve Tuesday, and then to see them improve even more Wednesday, even more Thursday, and to actually have it down by Friday in five days is, is priceless, you know? And, and that's, what, that's, that's the biggest gain to me, um, to actually see a kid, and each and every kid get better day by day take it day at a time and that's what we teach here take it a day at a time you get better you be better than you was yesterday and, and that's the that's the most important thing to me one thing that i learned um from from teaching kids and, and coaching the kids is you, you can't approach every kid the same way every kid has has a different way that you you're able to approach them um some kids you can be a little bit more demanding other kids you have to have to speak and at a little bit softer tone. Um, every kid has a different work ethic and I, I learned that from, from this four, month, four weeks of camp. Um, 
I've also learned and I've also seen that if the kids put in the proper work and the proper time and, and trust the process, that in a week you can get better at things that, that, that you're weak in. Um, another thing that, that I've gained from, from Lifeline Skills Academy this year is a wonderful group of kids that are willing to put in the work, the time, the blood, the sweat, and the tears to accomplish a goal that they didn't believe that they can accomplish. And those are, are one of the main reasons why I love working with Lifeline Skills Academy and, and our clientele. Well, I think the program was, uh, it is, it's not just a camp where you just, you know, you just go and you go home. It's a camp that, you know, you definitely, you come to and you take it home with you. I think that's important. I think with my brother, especially, you know, a lot of kids now, they don't want to, you know, compete against kids who are better than them or might be better than them, might know something different. I think now this camp, you know, puts that aside and lets you know you trust your skills and then you, you use that as, uh, you know, like your weapon or your guide to, you know, further whatever it is. And I see with my brother, specifically Yassin, he, he has a thing where um, he takes on any challenge. And I think even more so now, any little thing, you know, whatever it was homework, whether it's, you know, things we do around the house, he takes it to a, another level, you know, just because of what he's learned here and between here and last year as well. I, I want to give thanks to Coach Corey and Coach Richard. They, they greatly helped, helped me for the past two summers. And it, it just, I'm, I'm blessed to have them. I want to just uh, say thank you to all the coaches, all the, the people that were involved in this program for taking these kids and teaching them. You guys did a fabulous job and we'll be seeing more of you. I want to give a special shout out to all our parents all of our kids have worked so hard uh, the past four weeks and to skip meat market and Henrietta for, for their donation. Uh, I want to give a special thanks out to all the parents and kids. You know, without you, it, it's, this is impossible. You know, to actually see that, that we have the support and the love in this town. Uh, we're going to continue. We're not going nowhere. We also want to shout out East High School for letting us use their facility. And the athletic director, E, it was amazing. Uh, everything we needed, they helped us out, and, and we want to thank them. We want to thank Ashford Films, uh, who helped us with the, our camera and our photos and our videos. Uh, amazing job. Uh, we want to shout out to our DJ, uh, who helped us out here on our last day. It, just, it was an amazing week, amazing four weeks, and we just want to thank everyone that supported us, whether it was um, on social media or whether it was in person, uh, we just thank you all. We appreciate it, we will continue. We're not going anywhere. Thank you. One, two, three. Let's go!